Hello, I'm Ron Soyland. Um, this is part four of the making of the Fleming valve. Uh, this time we will start with making the elements. Okay, for the plate, remember uh, the tube is going to have a cylindrical plate that's shiny. Well, we're going to use one of these old rectifier tubes for the source of that plate. I'm just going to break that out of there. And I'll go ahead and grind this off of here on the grinder, and that will um, give us our plate. Okay, I've taken the grinder and just ground those flanges off there, and that leaves us a nice clean little uh, uh, cylinder there that's the right size for the plate. That'll, that'll sit up inside there. Now, we have to do the filament. Okay, what we have to do... We'll take the plate support wires and bend them out of the way. The outside wires are the plate support wires, so we'll bend those out of the way so we can get to the filament wires. I'm just going to bend those at about 90 degrees. I have to be very careful not to put any stress on the glass or we'll pop it and um, have a repair job to do, or maybe just scrap it all together and start over. Okay, now, to do a good job on these filament wires, we need to have them flat. We, we cannot use them round. Um, if we try pinching the, the filament wire with them round, um, you know, it's just like taking two round pieces and putting them together. You don't get much contact area. But by having one of them flat, then we can get a really good contact with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these and clean the oxide off of them, and then I'm going to hit them with a hammer to go ahead and flatten them out. And that'll make it to where we can make a really good tight fit onto the filament wire. Okay, we'll just put them against this piece of uh, steel bar here and just tap them. Now, we just have a little flat side on those wires there so it makes it where when we pinch it over onto the filament wire, we'll have more surface area touching. Go ahead and trim these off to maybe uh, about a half inch, I guess. And then we're going to bend each one to put a little loop in it so that we can have something to pinch down onto the filament wire. Be very careful here, I don't want to break the glass. Okay, we just have a little uh, little loop there that we can slip the thing in there, and we'll use the mashers to just squish it down and hold the wire. Now I'm going to bend these wires out into position. Maybe a little bit more even being very careful not to put stress on the glass. Okay, now that has got them into position and we're just going to have a loop, a loop of filament wire that'll just come up over the uh, top of it there. Now I'll clamp it in the vise here. We're going to use 5 mil tungsten, thoriated tungsten wire. You can get that on the internet. There's a company on the internet that supplies it. eBay. All we do, I'm going to rotate this around a little bit here. I'm just putting the end of the wire into the loop and now I'm just going to squish it down with these mashers if I can get to it. Okay, now I'm going to make a loop that's about an inch tall I'm going to rotate this around to where I can get to the other one. I'm just going to make it about the height of the plate. The, the exact height isn't um, that critical. 
it, it just varies the filament voltage. It'll vary between three and five volts. A filament that's about a half inch long will be about two volts, and when it's um, three quarters long will be about three volts, and when it's an inch long will be about four. Okay. Now I'm going to cut. All right. Okay, you can see the filament wire there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap that end of that filament wire around there a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, to make sure that filament is really on there, I'm going to set that welder to about 20 amps. And I'm just going to take each of these, and I'm just going to put a quick little burst on there to make sure it's welded. And that will make sure the filament is uh, permanently uh, fastened onto there. Okay, that's our filament. Next, we have to take the plate, and we position it on there, and weld it with these two wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look very carefully where we're going to bend. It's about an eighth of an inch out. First I'm going to clean the oxide off of here. It welds a lot easier if you scrape them first to get the oxide off from where we were heating it doing the pinch. That should do it. Okay, now I'm going to take these and bend them up. All right. Now to put the plate into position to get it stuck on there, we set the welder to the full 90 amps. Make sure I got it right in the position. Now I'm just going to reach on there and zorch it. Ninety amps puts out quite a spark there. But it does a good job. I mean, see how hard that's on there? I mean, that is really on there. That is really on there. That looks perfect. Okay, if you look up in there, you see the filament, maybe. I don't know if it'll focus that sharp. Now, let's get the envelope and see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Fits right in there. Now, we have the plate lead that goes from the plate through the side of the wall. Okay, so we have to drill a hole in the side of the tube here. So I'm going to go ahead, Dremel tool. We use a ball diamond cutter. These little sets of diamond cutters you get on eBay, they're Chinese made. The quality is excellent. Um, you know, in spite of being Chinese um, and only costing ten bucks for a set of them, the, the quality really is great. I mean, I, I've been very, very satisfied with those uh, grinders. We set it to, you know, about maybe a third speed, and we're just going to start grinding. If you got a steady hand, you can do this pretty good. 
Ah, I don't have a steady hand. There we go, we got a hole. You see, we got a hole right in the middle. So now, we're going to change over. Use a pointing tool. Now I've got to find our electrode and make sure we get it the right diameter. We want the hole to be just big enough for our bead to fit through. Okay, we're still a little bit small. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. Clean dust out of here. Next, we have to fasten that electrode onto the plate and get it positioned to where it'll stick through. Okay, so if we're going to put it like that, okay, we'll just stick it down at the bottom and then bend it 90 degrees. Okay, now for this we have thinner nickel wire. This is 20 mil wire, so I'm going to set the, the welder to a lower current, about maybe 30 amps. And I'm just going to weld it to here. Yeah, maybe we'll go a little higher. Let's go to 40 amps. Okay, that's got it. Cut the extra off. Okay, now we're going to bend this out very carefully. We don't want to do any stress on that bead or we'll break it. I'm just going to grab it with the pliers and I'm going to bend this out. Okay, I don't know exactly where it needs to go. That's very close. Look at that. First shot and we're just right at it. We, we have a little bit of an angle on here, so I'm going to bend it just a little bit more, but we're very close to having it right on the money. Okay, I'm going to bend that just a little more. We don't want to have any stress on it, otherwise we're going to have trouble when we go to seal it in there. Okay. All right, that's right in position. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, it sticks through about an eighth of an inch now. And we'll just seal that around there. We'll seal the bottom. And then that's going to be our tube. Now, the next thing we have to do before we do any sealing is we have to put the getter on there. So let me get a getter. 